What's up guys? I know it's been a while, but you know what? I got a new shoe review, baby. This one won't disappoint. As you can see, it's a pair of James Harden's Volume 1s. Uh, these are a lifestyle pair. Comes in a uh, white and gold box, standard to the regular performance James Harden's. Um, well, let's take a look. What's in the box? Oh, okay. I guess that's a thing. Uh, well, to no surprise, or you've already seen them, it's the black and white. It's the black and white uh, lifestyle pairs. Uh, they are officially called the Harden Volume 1 LS PK, uh, LS Lifestyle PK Prime Knit. I hope you guys know that by now. Um, there is the lateral side, and then there is the medial side. Um, the most obvious uh, change up with the lifestyle pair, there is no toe cap. Um, and at the same time, they uncaged, uh, uncaged the boost in the heel. You feel it a lot better. You don't feel the forefoot as much still because it's still kind of caged right there, but it's a comfortable ride. Um, right underneath probably the Ultra Boost and Pure Boost and um, Crazy Explosive. It's up there. It's up there. Not top tier, but maybe like second, second top tier. Um, other notable change, um, you won't know this until you try it on and walk around it. It is tighter. It is tighter, but it will, it will fit. But you know what? That's right. It's cool. It's um, if it ain't tight, it ain't right. You know what I mean? I'm always the type of guy to like my shoes a little bit tighter um, or f fitted. Um, those are those type of shoes are real cool for me. I don't know. And then I I don't know what it is about it, but I just like my shoes a little bit fitted. And at the same time, um, it's got this little funky design. You got like stripes and whatnot going around. Um, I like to call this like a zebra type pair or any other animal that may uh, come across. I don't know. I think I like zebra. I, I can't think of another white and black animal with stripes like these. Um, it still retains the same outsole. This time there is a, a Harden, Harden logo at the heel. Um, they figured that uh, the lifestyle pair won't really need to rely much on the traction. That's why they felt like it be you'd be okay to, uh, uh, to have that Harden logo right there. Uh, it still has that counter for uh, support right there as well. And like I said, uncaged boost, you feel it, it's a real comfortable ride. I wore it around school, um, obviously, and great, uh, great lifestyle shoe. One of the best lifestyle iterations of a performance signature sneaker I've seen in a long time. Um, inside, they don't really change up much. Much um, Harden insole, black lining, um, still got the breathable mesh at the tongue. Still got that asymmetrical look, um, pretty hard logo, hard, pretty hard hardened logo right there. And um, I like to do this little noop, loop, um, the the previews and screenshots of the Harden's uh, Harden lifestyles before they dropped. They did this, did this this lace job on it, and I liked it. I stuck with it, and it looks cool. It, it makes you look posh or i don't know what i just licked my lips it, it looked weird um it looks posh I, I i don't know what use words to use but it makes you look classy or different it's, it's different basically um there's, the, there's both there's a look at both they're cool they're cool also one big problem with the uh performance hardens was that this area would dig in uh, you don't get that as much with this one. Maybe it's because the toe cap is gone. Uh, but I had no problems uh, in this area in terms of the material digging in. Uh, maybe because the toe, toe cap is gone. I mean, it does have this fuse overlay right there for structural support. Um, maybe depending on how you walk or step or bend your foot or feet. 
uh, maybe that's what's causing it. But with this pair, I had no problems with that at all. And it looks slick. I can't wait for the Harden Volume 2s and a possible lifestyle iteration of it. Um, but for now, these are great. Great. Like, like Frosted Flakes, Tony the Tiger, great. Um, I'm dubbing these the Zebras, by the way, because... Adidas didn't give me Adidas didn't give it an official nickname. Maybe they did. I don't know. But I saw Harden wear these uh on the sideline at NBA game, one of the games he sat out, and he was wearing these and these they they were fresh. Like like you just gathered the harvest fresh. But yeah, that was my quick review. I definitely recommend these to anyone who wants a comfortable lifestyle everyday type of sneaker um and these are these are great i would give it i've never really done reviews or scores but the the, the tightness and the fit could get some use to but i give this shoe an a minus i wore this only once but i love it no problems whatsoever i wore it once but to school but you know what i i had a long day school i i'm i'm there for four classes for a total of maybe eight hours i have breaks in between uh but these were a comfortable ride no problem whatsoever but yeah that's that's pretty much it uh with this review i would say cop a pair because um they will no longer be making any more since the volume twos are coming out soon and uh these are underrated they're not selling out, nothing by no means um, are they on many people's radars, but I believe uh, for anybody who's a big fan of Boost, Adidas, Lifestyle Sneakers, any sneakerhead I think should have a pair in their uh, rotation, closet, whatever, the list goes on, but I think this pair is a must have. All right, then y'all, that's, that's it for the video. I mean, I don't, I don't know what else to say. I guess that's it.